Do you dream of becoming an IPS officer or have you ever dreamt of the same? Of course, the answer will be yes or would be yes. Becoming an IPS officer is dream of every individual and is almost cherished by everyone, but only a few achieve success in achieving this dream. So today in this video, we will talk about some of the women IPS officers and work done by them that made the country proud and inspired millions of Indians. So let's begin the video. First on the list, we have Sanjukta Parashar. Known as the Iron Lady of Assam, Sanjukta Parashar is the courageous officer who took down 16 militants. Not only this, during her 15 months tenure in Assam, she also caught many terrorists alive and seized tons of arms and ammunition and also played an important role in controlling the ethnic violence of Bodo and illegal Bangladeshi militants. Next on the list, we have Marin Joseph. Marin Joseph became the youngest officer in the list of people to lead the Indian delegates for the Y20 summit. In 2019, Marin Joseph and her team solved a two-year-old child rape case and arrested the accused from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Next on the list, we have Subhanshni Sankaran. Subhanshni Sankaran was India's first woman IPS officer to be put in charge of Chief Minister's security. She took charge of security for Assam's Chief Minister Sarbanan Somwal at that time. During her posting in Assam, she also busted a rhino poaching ring that was operating nearby Kaziranga National Park. Next on the list, we have Aparajita Rai. She became the first woman Gorkha IPS officer from Sikkim. Despite failing in her first attempt for the UPSC exams, she appeared again and cleared the exam and secured the highest marks ever secured by someone in Sikkim. She also holds the record for becoming the first woman IPS officer of Sikkim. Next on the list, we have Dr. Meera Chadda Burwankar. This lady IPS officer was instrumental in ending gang wars and related activities in the Mumbai underworld. Although she retired from service in 2017, however, during her service, she solved many cases including Abu Salim's extradition, Iqbal Mirchi case and many more. The movie Mardani, which was released in 2014, is also inspired from her. Next on the list, we have Sonia Narang. During her service, Sonia Narang was posted in many big cities of Karnataka. It was the result of her honesty that wherever she went, the criminals were forced to run away. Sonia Narang came into limelight when she slapped a political party leader in 2006 during protests between two political parties and also sent him behind the bars. Last on the list, we have Kanchan Chaudhary Bhattacharya. This lady IPS officer was the first woman to become Director General of Police. She also represented India in Mexico during the Interpol meeting in 2004. She handled many difficult cases during her service including the murder of seven-time national badminton champion Sayed Modi in 1987 and the Reliance Bombay dying case in 1989. Further, she tracked down 13 decoits in a single year. So this was all in today's video. Hope you liked the video. If so, then hit the like button, share the video and subscribe the channel for more such interesting videos and do comment in the comment section on which topic you want video on. Thank you.